Hello everyone, it's me, Anthony Coach, a guitarist on YouTube. How many of you can recognise this iconic guitar solo intro? What is it? Let me know in the comments. Well, I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> it's just habit to say, let me know in the comments. I'm going to talk about that because I've had a few conversations with a few of my students today. I'm a guitar teacher. You can book lessons with me, video call lessons down there if you really want them. And this has popped up a couple of times. I'm talking to students about learning other people's guitar solos. You're playing the guitar, you're learning, you're self-teaching. And, you, and you've been inspired to play your instrument because, because you've listened to your favourite music. You've heard what they've done and you think, how do they do that? that? How do you even think that stuff up? That is amazing. I'm going to go and buy a guitar. Then you listen to your own stuff and you study and you work hard and you think there's still something missing. It's just not quite there. See, so there's, there's all sorts of stuff that you can practice, you know. I talk about it all day, every day. I've got videos full of it. Check out my channel, things like sequences, practicing with a metronome, music theory, chord scale theory, learning all the patterns, all, all, that, all that stuff, finger exercises, all that works and all that's good. But I'm here today to talk about stealing music, but how to properly steal music, because at the end of the day, you know, I'll be so bold as to say that we pick up our instrument because we want to sound like other people. Eventually you want to sound like yourself, but the best way to do that is to use sounding like other people as a stepping stone. So how do you do that? You can learn their theory, or you can just literally steal their music. But we've got to do this step. There is a step to take whenever you learn a solo, or learn someone else's music. That guitar solo, the most iconic guitar solo in the world. Stairway to Heaven, if you didn't already know, uh, is, uh, everyone's learned it. it, it's a rite of passage, even if you just learn... Hey! No stairway! Denied! Everyone's learned at least some of that song. So let's say that you've got that opening lick under your belt. Right, when I teach kids, or complete beginners, they see the guitar as very much... You, you always, when, it, when you teach, you always have to take yourself back to when you were learning. And you've just got to understand, they don't see the pattern. They don't see the bigger picture. They just see... Fret 5, fret 8, pull off. Fret 7, pull off to 5. And then this weird thing, pull off, pull off. Go to fret eight on the edge. They don't see that this is all part of a scale. So this is that hidden step that you've got to take. What I'm getting at, the main point of this video that I'm waffling on for. Yes, get over there. Yes! Is you have to play that as an example of this, right? Whatever you're playing, and just go right. What key is this song in? Well, this is A minor. <laughs> It's the most A minor song in the world. So then you think, okay, is this a familiar pattern to me? I would hope the answer is yes. A minor pentatonic. That's what Jimmy Page was thinking. Whether it was conscious or not, the, the theory holds true. All they did then was put a bit of guitar magic in there, a bend, pull-offs. Now he ends on the minor sixth, that's not in the minor pentatonic scale. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter because the majority of it is colouring inside the lines. There goes my blackout blind. Right, fixed. Anyway, so he's colouring well within the lines. Mostly, mostly. Just throws in that minor sixth. So, we know now that that is in A minor. Uh, if you're like me, you'll probably picture A minor, A minor, A minor. There are my three root notes in the key of A minor. There's, there's more along the guitar, but this is where the lick is. And that's where I'm thinking about that lick now. So let's say, uh, let me create a loop. Let's go with the key of, I don't know, G major. And let's make it, I don't know, more standard rock. Uh, 
know, something like that. Okay, it doesn't get any more generic than that. So then... Whoops. You've got the lick under your fingers, you've practiced your solo, so now you just move it down. That's my lick now, it sounds less. <laughs> Granted, it's ripping him off, you know, it, it still sounds a bit like <laughs> Stairway to Heaven, uh, the opening lick, but less so because I've changed key, and more importantly, the stuff behind it is different. Especially if you just chuck it in there in the middle of something else. Let's go a bit more sedate, something a bit slower, uh, and change key yet again. What about, I don't know, C minor? Yeah. So now what I'm thinking, I'm thinking root note, C minor, fret 8. Uh, place it. Again, it just sounds, <laughs> it just sounds like stay away to heaven at the minute uh, in a different key. But let's see how it sounds, bear with me, I'm trying. Okay, that minor sixth doesn't quite fit, I don't think, over that chord. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to change it. In other words, I'm doing the next step now. I'm taking the bulk of it, and I'm changing it. I'm making it my own. I've changed key. Now I'm going to change that last note. What about... Just back to the root note. Can't go wrong with a root note. Here it is again. You just noodle around. That's the next step, I suppose. You, you go back to your play and the stuff that you do that's under your fingers already, and then you throw in that other person's lick. That's tough to do. You know, it's, it's hard to do that because you have to switch that you have to switch gears between thinking I'm just making it up, noodling, 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 and now I have to think, okay, where, where's that lick? Okay, yeah, it's there. Luckily, this one is nice and easy. It sits under the fingers and it uses minor pentatonic position one. So I recommend doing that. Find a guitar solo that you know, analyze it, and and then think. Okay, where is that? Where, where is it in relation to the root note? What key is this in? Make it minor pentatonic position one if you want, or another position that you're very familiar with. And then give yourself a bit of a noodle sandwich. That sounds disgusting, but it's not. That's your noodling. That's the lick that you stole, that you're stealing, and then you're noodling again. to me noodle aimlessly anyway steel music it's good for you i am still anthony coach you are still the incredible coach potatoes if you're a subscriber if not then come and join the coach potatoes by subscribing you can support me on patreon i'm going to be talking about how to take that to the next level over there in a little extra video uh, and come and join us over on facebook the coach potatoes guitar Facebook community or whatever it is it's called. It's growing. It's growing. There's some nice active members in there. Very friendly people. Anyway, thank you and I will see you in the next video.